Hey everybody, um, I'm back. <laughs> I had my tonsils taken out about a month ago and it all went really well. And you know, if you wanna have two weeks off of work and just totally slack off and have a good time, my recommendation is to not get your tonsils taken out because it was not fun. It was not nearly as fun as I envisioned. <laughs> it was like really sore for two weeks. Like it didn't, it's not like it just got better as time went on that it just like the pain slowly decreased. It was like, it got better for a few days and then it got a lot worse, which apparently is normal. But um, it sucked. It was like, I had to eat soup and bread but I could barely get through the whole thing because it hurt so much to swallow and even ice cream like you get sick of it after a while because it's so sugary and you just want to eat some real food but you can't and yeah anyway but my throat's better now um, it's almost completely healed which is awesome I'm glad I'm not gonna get sore throats anymore because sore throats aren't fun <laughs> but um, yeah so another thing, cool thing that happened is I've been full-time for two years now. Isn't that cool? The day just kind of went by. Um, it was a, I think it was on like June 2nd or something is the official date, but um, I didn't realize until a couple of days after, but it's been good. Like I feel so much more comfortable as myself right now. Um, I just feel like I'm myself. I never ha I've never like thought like, oh, I wish I hadn't transitioned or I would, it's like if I could do this, I could still do this if I was a boy, but um, no, I haven't found I've lost anything from being a girl. I feel like much better in all ways. But you know, I'm kind of feeling lost recently. Um, I just feel like I don't really have any direction in my life and I don't have any goals and because I used to have transitioning. Transitioning was my goal and it was what I was working towards and I was becoming myself and I was learning about myself. and. All these things, and I kind of thought I had this life, this life thing figured out. I thought that all you had to do was be yourself and try to be happy, and you'd be happy. But you know, it's not really like that. And now that I, you know, now that I've been a girl for two years, I'm kind of starting just to feel like lost, like I don't have direction in my life, and I just really feel like I need a goal. But I don't know what to do and I just feel kind of like unmotivated and it's it's just kind of depressing sometimes and like I do like I know I have a really good life like I have a I have a really fantastic partner who loves me a lot and I love her but and I have lots of fun all the time like I, I go to lots of parties and I have lots of great friends and you know, like, when I look at it, it's like I don't really have anything to complain, complain about, but there's just something empty inside of me. There's just something, like, I'm not... There's just something missing. And I don't know what. And this is kind of like, this is kind of how I felt before I transitioned. I kind of felt this, this emptiness inside. And I don't know whether it's just from not, like... Because before I didn't know what I was doing either because I'd just graduated university and I was all of a sudden out in the world and I didn't know what to do with myself. And I feel like this is a little bit of a similar experience because now that I'm like, I'm fully a girl, I don't know what I should do with my life anymore. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I've been going through for the last like two or three months and yeah, I'm like, I really want to get into making music. Um, I've been quite into electronic music recently, so I've been thinking about maybe making my own electronic music or maybe just starting out as a DJ. Because um, I think it would be cool to be a DJ. Lots of people say I have pretty good taste in music, so I think I could be a good DJ. And I think it would be pretty fun. But I would like to make my own electronic music. and. Uh, just like totally made from scratch, maybe with samples and stuff, but anyway, that's kind of what's going on with me. <laughs> I, what else is going on? Oh, um, we've been building the dome for Burning Man, um, which is going really well. Um, we're, we're nearly done, actually. Uh, all, 
we need to do is drill the holes in one more set of struts and then we just need to try assembling it and hopefully it'll work. <laughs> or else I screwed up because I was the one who did all the numbers. So hopefully it'll work. <laughs> um, and it's going to be awesome. I've uh, been filming the the process of us making it, so all the different steps, and once we're actually finished making it and we're actually assembling it, I'm just going to release a video um, that's just kind of showing the whole dome process. But to end it off on a, on a good note, I, um, because I'm going to Burning Man, I need to get a new passport, and right now my birth certificate says mail on it, because it used to be in Alberta that you had to have the operation before you could have your legal gender changed, but within the uh, over the last few months, um, the government of Alberta, that's where I'm originally from, I live in BC now, but I'm from Alberta, so the government of, of Alberta has changed their ruling on this, so like now you can actually change your legal gender without getting um, the surgery, which is awesome, and I didn't know whether it was fully in place yet, but I sent them an email a few weeks ago with this form saying what I wanted to do, and then just today I got a letter um, that was saying I can, I can change my legal gender to female, and all I have to do is get like a note f or a letter from a from my psychologist and give him twenty bucks. <laughs> so that's really awesome. I'm really excited about that and. I never mentioned this in a video yet, but I mentioned it on my Facebook. I got approved for SRS. Woo! I got approved about two, no, last week. Yeah, it was last week, um, which is very exciting. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, but I am still quite scared of the surgery. I am nervous about the surgery and I'm nervous about the recovery. And if I could just have a vagina right now, I would, but I'm kind of scared of that, and then that's kind of making me a little bit put off the um, booking the surgery. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna end up doing it. I know I'm gonna end up doing it at some point, and I'll probably end up getting it in October or November. And if I don't get it in October or November, I'm probably gonna get it in February. Probably. That sounds good to me. Anyway, so, I don't know, just as for like my issue of like feeling lost, it's really it's like everything is going well for me, but I just have this feeling like I'm not, like I'm not, I just don't feel fulfilled in my life right now. Um, I just feel like there's something missing, even though like so many aspects of my life are going right. So. Don't, I don't want you guys to think I'm just complaining about things. It's like I, I realize how lucky I am. Um, it's just I I just don't feel like I'm living my life to the fullest right now. But I'm going to try and change that. And try and create stuff and try and express myself more. Um, anyway, so that I believe is it. That's it. So, so yeah. <laughs> I always end these videos in exactly the same way, so this time I'm going to end it completely different and I'm just going to say sayonara. <laughs>